It was a packed weekend in sports with some PHL action, softball, cricket, basketball action, and also the rightfully fit second annual Provo Children's Home Walk Run. But tonight we start with basketball action. It was a close one on Friday night as the Steelers took on the Knights in the Provo Amateur Basketball Matchup, a seesaw battle for most of the night with the Steelers building a lead early in the fourth quarter. But the Knights would shoot their way back into it, going up by one with just 14 seconds left. The Steelers would answer, driving in for the layup to take the one-point lead with just 10 seconds left on the clock. The Knights down 65-66 gets it to Lightbourne, who banks in the running jump shot for the 67-66 lead. And with just four seconds left, the Knights would hold on for the big win. Okay, big come from behind victory tonight. Uh, what did you do to get your team back in it in the second half? I had to give them a motivation speech, motivational speech. Um, actually, we, we, we missed our big man tonight. That's why we lost on the board. Um, we, we, we can build from a lot of things, what happened here tonight. I don't like this kind of close game. So when you see us again, look for a difference in our performance. Okay, and you talk about the close game tonight. Who, who was your key player tonight in making sure that you came out with this tough victory? Well, for sure, our catalyst is Tamori, our light bond. And um, he came through with, um, what it was, 0.4 seconds on the clock, came through with a big two-pointer, walk-off victory. <laughs> I can't say enough about him. Pretty big game tonight. Uh, what was the night's strategy coming in? Uh, just play good defense, move the basketball around, find the open man for the open shot, and play team basketball. And how proud, how... Happy are you guys to be able to pull this victory out and, and basically stay undefeated? Very happy because it was a hard game. We grind all night. We wasn't playing our best offense. But somehow, the shot went in. A little bit of luck, but we could take that. Knights coach Philip Roca also talked about possibly going undefeated on the season after the 2-0 start. Overall, you know, I don't want to toot my own horn, but we're looking to go undefeated. It, it's like, we got to send a message. We got to send a message that the Knights have always been here and they will always be here. Now, like we said, it was a big weekend in sports. We'll have the highlights from the rightfully fit second annual Provo Children's Home Walk Run for you in tomorrow's newscast and highlights from the cricket action, PHL action and softball action for you throughout the week. For WIV4 Sports, I'm Judy Harvey.